This is Jason over here at Go Power Sports, and today we are starting the process of putting together our off-road mini bike that we are going to be taking to Colorado in the United Mountains. You win! Perfect! All right, there are a few ways you can start this journey. First, you can walk into Go Power Sports and just pick up a mini bike already assembled. Or you can order one online and we'll ship one straight to you. The key things that I want out of this mini bike for this Colorado trip, I'm going to want a comfortable ride. That means full suspension, something that can take a beating for hours on end. I'm looking for a big enough gas tank that can hold enough fuel so that I can go riding for hours. I need front and rear brakes. It's just having that confidence to be able to go up and down the mountain and be able to stop on a dime is crucial. I need a powerful engine. I'm gonna need something that's gonna chug and lug me up and down the mountain and I wanna go fast. And last, I need, some, I need something with a cargo rack. I need to be able to take camera gear up and down, food up and down, extra parts up and down. This is gonna be a long trip. So I need cargo rack and backpacks. For me, I'm gonna start out with the Trailmaster Hurricane 200X mini bike. It has a full suspension front and rear. It has front and rear hydraulic brakes. And it also has a torque converter. You could honestly slap on a stage one kit and a bigger rear sprocket on this mini bike and I think you'd be happy with the results out in Colorado. But like I said, I'm trying to eat mountains. All right, I'm going to start adding everything to my cart online and get everything shipped over here to the shop. All right, we placed our order online. Hopefully it shows up pretty soon. Or just tell me what you're about to do with this order. Put your bike together, man. A Hurricane Black we went with, right? Black for yours. Sure. Then we're doing the Tillotson 212 with a hot 265, 22 Makuni, Juggernaut, correct? Yep. Juggernaut torque converter. This thing's gonna rip, man. Shocks, DID chain, big sprocket. It's gonna be ready for Colorado. All right, order's up. Get that day cracking. All right, so we got Jason's bike back here in the shop. He's got it ordered from Go Power Sports. He also got the box of parts delivered here. We've got that laid out here on the table. So we went with a 212 Tillotson pull start engine. We're going to swap the stock Trailmaster flywheel over onto that engine so we can power the headlight. We're going to upgrade the suspension with the new nitro shocks. And the tires we're going to upgrade. We're going to raise the height with our 27 by 8 knobby tires. We're going to upgrade the chain with the DID 420. We have the peg kit for a more aggressive riding stance, which makes off-road riding a lot easier. Uh, we have the Juggernaut, and that's going to give us a little more low-end grunt and a little more top end. No belt slippage with the Juggernaut. Then we're going to upgrade that Tillotson engine with a Stage 1 kit. That's going to involve the super pipe, the intake with the bigger jet, and the carburetor. We're going to strip this thing down and get it built back up for Colorado. Let's get rolling. engine on here i got the tillotson all set up ready to go all that's left is the throttle cable 
kill switch hookup, and then the juggernaut and super pipe. Yep. We'll be ready to rock and roll, man. Yep. I gotta hurry up and get this done. <laughs> right. All right. Good morning. Hey, Bernie. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good, good, good. You ready to hit the road? Oh, I'm ready. I think I've been ready for about three months now. Where are we at? What are we doing? We're in South Fork, Colorado, in the heart of the mountains right here. I am getting Jason's bike oiled up. Uh, this is the hurricane that we built up for him specifically for this trip. Great looking bike. What all did you get done to it? We've got big knobby tires, DID chain, the chain guide, which really helps when you add that extra sprocket height, mm -hmm. and the shocks. Whenever you throw off the stock geometry of these, you can start having chain problems. So the guide that we have really, really helps. Tillotson 212 engine. We just took yes. the MB200 flywheel and coils, swapped them over to the Tillotson block, did a hot 265 cam, 22 Makuni, and then that gives us the RPM and power that we need to run this juggernaut. Nice. So then I see you also got me with the chrome super pipe, which looks awesome. It's definitely bling. And then what kind of carburetor am I running? This is our aftermarket VM22. It's a really good slide carburetor. Bolt-on performance. Bolt-on horsepower gain, bolt-on RPM gain. Uh, they are jetted by us, you know, to our specifications. So they run really good right out of the box. Up here, we might have to tune it down since the air is so thin, but we'll see. Another one of my favorites is you adding the gas tank that's actually usable so we can be riding for hours and hours today. You ride all day with this thing up here. I see that this bike sits taller. Much me. taller. These are, they, they say 27 by eight. They're more like 21 and a half inches. Gain a lot of ground clearance over the stock tires with these. And I'm stoked about the new, foot peg kit down underneath for a little more aggressive riding. Yes, this is our MB200 foot peg kit that we modified for the Mega Moto pegs with the springs. We're gonna see how that works out. If it tests out all right, we'll put that online. All right, looks good. I'm excited to jump on this bike and see what it can do. Give it a little bit of a light day today before we hit the Tewksbury Trail tomorrow. See ya.